Today we're making glazed donuts, dare I say better than Krispy Kreme. Just watch the end of the video. Today we're making glazed donuts. We are making the dough, we are forming the donuts, we are frying them to golden perfection. We are coating them in the most delicious glaze of all time. They are going to be your new favorite donuts of all time. Let's just get started. Into our stand mixer, I have some warm water that we're gonna add straight into there along with some yeast. And as always, the, the actual amounts is linked in the description box. While our yeast is proofing into a small pot, I'm gonna put it on a low flame. I'm gonna add in our whole milk along with our butter. And we just wanna heat this up until the butter melts. You do not want to boil, you just want until the butter melts because if it gets too hot, it will kill our yeast. All right, our yeast has gotten nice and bubbly and our Butter is now melted. Into here, I'm going to add in two eggs, along with some sugar, and our butter and milk mixture straight into there. Take the salt, add it to the flour, mix it together, and add half of the flour into the mixer. And start mixing it on a low speed. While it's mixing, slowly add in the rest of the flour. All right, this is now coming together into a nice dough. So let's take it out. Let's now flour our surface with a whole lot of flour and let's dump it out. Knead the dough until it is nice and soft. Personally, I really love working with doughs that have a warm liquid in them because then they are super fun to knead because it's like warm while you're doing it. <laughs> it's really enjoyable. And what we're doing now is we are kneading it to incorporate and just make lots of gluten and smooth out the dough. So we're gonna do this for about four or five minutes until it is nice and smooth. And there we go. Once it is done being kneaded, just round out the dough, place it into a greased bowl. Let's just grab a towel from right here and we are going to now cover this and let it rise for one hour. It's time for the reveal. As you can see, our dough is super happy and rose. So what we're going to do is let's flour our surface. It is now time to roll out and cut our donuts. Bam, look at that thick dough we got over here. Let's top it with some more flour. And now let's very gently roll it out to about an inch, in between about, basically like three quarters of an inch thick. Here we go. All right, I'm so happy how this dough is looking. All right, that looks good. Now what I'm gonna do is you're going to take either a donut cookie cutter, I don't have that, so I'm gonna use a four inch bowl and a little cookie cutter right here. Place it close as you can to the edge. And then since this isn't a cookie cutter, I don't wanna press it down. So I'm actually just gonna use a bench scraper to follow it around and cut out the donut shape. There we go. And then for the center, I'm going to cut out the little hole. And we wanna save these donut holes because they are also equally as delicious. Bam, and there you go. You have a perfect little donut right over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flour a cookie sheet so that there is no sticking. And I'm going to place my donut right over here onto the cookie sheet and just repeat with the rest of your dough. You're gonna have a lot of excess dough over here that is not big enough to make a donut. So I choose, I take my little donut hole maker and I cut little donut holes out of the rest of the dough because those are equally as delicious. And then you can actually give to more people because we only have five donuts and we have a ton of donut holes. I'm gonna cover these and let them rise for another hour. It is the time we've all been waiting for. It is the time to fry our donuts. They have gotten nice and risen. They are full of air. And now let's fry them in some oil that is at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about two minutes per side till they go to brown and then flip. Let's give it a flip and cook the other side for two minutes. And once it's golden brown on the outside, let's take it out, place it on a cooling rack to drain, and let's fry up the rest of our donuts. While those are frying, let's make the glaze. We have powdered sugar, some whole milk, a little bit of melted butter, and finally, vanilla extract for some flavor, and let's just whisk that all together.
Look at that delicious glaze. The donuts have finished frying and now let's dip them into the glaze that we made, get them mostly covered. Then you're gonna wanna do a quick flip, place it on here so that the glaze can drip down and just repeat that with the rest of our donuts. Okay, I am actually so pumped to eat these. It's not even normal. All right, let's give the donut a try. When you glaze it like that, you get that perfect thin layer glaze. Let's just give it a try. Oh my God. Wow, the inside is super pillowy and light and airy. The outside is nice and glazy. Is that even a term? I don't know, I just invented it. It is sweet, it has those vanilla notes. It is so delicious. Dare I say it's just as good, if not even better than Krispy Kreme because it is homemade. You guys have got to try it. The link to the recipe as always in the description box below. And if you haven't already, be sure to click that big red subscribe button so you'll be the first to know when I post the videos and like the video if you haven't already and comment down below, what is your favorite type of donut? I would love to hear. All right, I'm just gonna eat the rest of these donuts. Cheers.